All right, before we get started, this will be the first number one versus number two in the polls matchup since 2017, which was Northwest Missouri State and Fairmount State. The third number one versus two matchup all time. The 16th championship game with two teams with 30 plus wins. The seventh time the one seed has made the finals since the Elite Eight seeding began in 2016, in which they are three and three prior. The seventh time in the last eight Elite Eights where a Central Region team has made the finals. The first Minnesota team in the finals since 08, which was Wyoming State. The first championship game appearance for Minnesota State. And the second time a school has had its men's and women's team in the D2 championship in 40 years in Central Missouri, 1984. Uh, and this is also the first time West Texas A&M has lost to a ranked team, 7-0 previously. With that, Coach, your overall impressions of the game. Well, again, I'd like to um, congratulate uh, West Texas on a, on a just unbelievable year. Um, it, it, like I said the other night, it's just, it's just hard to get an NCAA tournament, period. And uh, when you can make it uh, this far, it, it, it's, it's, it makes that even tougher to, to get beat. But I thought the, the biggest part of the game, our guys were tough tonight. I mean, we, I thought, out toughed a very good West Texas team. Our guys have continually staying with the scout. They continually know the personnel and make individuals do things that they're not comfortable doing. And um, I, I thought we adjusted to the way the game was, was being played a couple different times. Um, we played extremely, extremely well together. Uh, we made it interesting down the stretch. If we made some free throws, uh, my blood pressure would have been a lot better. But uh, we got it done. And I, I couldn't, I mean, what do you say? I mean, when, when, when Minnesota State is being represented on their men's and women's side in a national championship game, ooh, that's, that's, pre that's pretty dang special. That's pretty dang special. And, and it's, it's historic, um, you know, and, and uh, these guys, they just play. I mean, we've had a, a, a group of eight that's played all season long. And for what Brady did tonight um, in, in, the, in the minutes we had to play him, uh, it, was, it was amazing, and, and he, but we know he can. He's capable of doing that, and Je just does Je. I mean, that's just that he just does his thing, and, and we allow our guys to play. And when you, when, I don't know, I'm coming to talk, but I don't care. Um, but the thing is, is that when when we play, we we just hoop. We we we're, we're, our guys like each other. They 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 just they feed off each other, and and we don't have Malik and Kai up here tonight. So I mean, we we can do it with everybody, and I think that's that's what makes us so special. With us today, we have uh, Justin Egans, who had 18 points, eight assists, five rebounds, and Brady Williams, 14 points, five rebounds. What questions would we have for the student athletes today? Hey, Brady. Um, you know, you've been on this team for several years now. You've put in the time and all that sort of stuff. You're coming off the bench today. You have a great performance in the Final Four. Talk about what you're feeling right now after um, that, that game? I'm just grateful. Um, teammates trust me, coaches trust me coming off the bench. It, it doesn't really bother me. I know, I know uh, whenever someone's down, having a little bit of a rough game, I can step in there and, and hoop. But um, it, just, it just feels good to keep winning, keep winning and get to that goal that we talked about that at the beginning of the year, which is the national championship. Justin Brady, talk a little bit about, you know, West Texas made that little run in the second half and got it to a two-possession game. But you guys just, you know, Brady, those three blocks and three straight possessions kind of slammed the door. But what were you guys thinking on how to close this out and getting everybody rallied around the defensive side of things to stop the run? Um, I think just like taking a deep breath, coming together as a team, realizing they're going, they're going to go on their run, we're going to go on ours in a, in a couple minutes or in the next possession. So I think just sticking together, and that's, that's one thing that we've emphasized this whole year is just when, when adversity hits, just uh, weather the storm and, and fight through it as a team. 
I'm going to say to add to that because I think we're a, we're an emotional team. I mean, it's you know we play with our hearts on our sleeves and our emotions on our sleeves, and, and I love that. But um, you know, I think that we got we kept that in check tonight, and we we knew we had to get back. And uh, when we needed big shots, and throughout the year, even like in, in a timely uh, timely situations, Justin's hit the shots. I mean, you've you've hit many many shots like that, and he's our one. I would say cool, calm, you know, collective guy that's out there, and and then uh, then we have a bunch of crazies, and and so which, which is a lot of fun, and I'm I'm, I'm included in one of those. Any more questions for student athletes? Thank you, guys. Uh, questions now for coach. Coach, your team uh, distributed the ball real well again today. Uh, you know, uh, I think in the two games here in the lead eight, you, you're, you have nearly 40 assists. Talk about how unselfish this team has been this week. Well, I've said that you know a lot this year. I think this is the most selfless team I've ever had in my life, and, and uh, they really don't care who scores. They they want to get the, the best shot available. Um, and we showed that time after time after time. 21 assists last night, 19 tonight. Um, it, it's a fun. You know, this is a fun group. I I have 40. Forty minutes left with this group that I love. I, mean, I love this group, and uh, it's it, it is just it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, and and uh, but we're going to we're going to have so much dang fun tonight and tomorrow. And we're gonna, I mean we are going to celebrate this thing and just have a good time is what we're going to do. Coach, talk a little bit about Brady and you know young man that's been with you guys. You you put him in spots in. Especially like I asked him that 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 tail end run that stopped everything with his defensive presence. No question. And Brady was a starter for us two years ago, and um, then he had back surgery last year, had a red shirt, and it's just he's been through a lot. And and this is he's got one more year of eligibility, but his body's telling him he can't do it anymore. So the, this is going to be it for for old Brady. Uh, but the young man has just put everything his heart and soul into this program at the Minnesota State. Um, he's going to be a nurse. I mean, he's just he's an unbelievable kid. Um, and, and you know the the thing is about Brady, he's he's accepted a role that he probably doesn't want. I mean, he, everybody wants to start, um, but he came in my office early in the, in the season before even practice started. Said, Coach, we're going to be really good, and I'm fine with whatever role you want to put me at. I am I am absolutely fine with that. And there's not a lot of young men that would say that and and truly truly believe it. And, and he did, and, and it showed tonight. I'm, I'm very proud of what he did, and, and uh, you know, I'm proud, of, I'm proud of everybody out there. They just, they we, again, I, th I thought we just out toughed them for 40. Byron, before we let you go, Coach, how many messages do you already have? Have you seen that thing going yeah, off? Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> uh, I got a lot of friends, but I tell you what, I got the Macomb Class '86 here too now, man. I, mean, I got those guys travel well. They travel well, so. Uh, but, but thank you very much, and, and uh, President Inch, we're going to get you a championship. 